Hi everyone and welcome to this part. So on the previous parts we have designed the home page. Now on the home page we have a slider, here on the right we have some movie cards and then down below we have the fan favorites. On the upcoming parts we are going to design the movie details page. So if I go to the final app, wherever you click, so let's say you click on the slider, you click here on the right section or on the fan favorites, as long as you click a movie, you will be redirected to this different page that we call the movie details page. Now in here we have the first section where we have an iframe where we show the movie trailer. Here on the right we have a short description of the movie and then we have three cards. We have the stars card, the directors and the genres. Down below we have the actors, then we have the movie reviews and similar movies. On the upcoming parts we are going to design this page and we are going to start with this first section in here which is the iframe and the section here on the right. Then we are going to design the actors etc. So let us start with the first section. Now the first thing that we need to do, since in our app we have not added the routing yet, we need to go to the app component.html file and simply replace the app home component with the movie details component. So that component will be rendered instead of this one. Let us go back to Visual Studio Code. And then in here, you just need to go to the app.component.html and on the application content, instead of loading the app home, we are going to load the other component, which is the details component. So in here, I'll just type app dash details, and this is the component that we are going to load. Now, if we navigate to this component in the details.component.html, you'll see that this component does have some child components, the app details movies for the movie section within this view and the app details reviews for the review section within this view. If we go back to the browser, you will see that now in here we have the details works, the details movies works and the details reviews works. Let us go back and by using the bootstrap column logic that we have talked about, so we have said that in bootstrap there are 12 columns in a view, we are going to create the skeleton of this view. So in here for example you can see that half of the screen or six columns are taken by the iframe and the other six by the section here on the right. And then down here you can see that the actors take the whole screen, the same way it goes for reviews and the similar movies. So let us go back to Visual Studio Code. In here now, the first thing that we need to do is that we need to create an H1 tag and this tag will be used for the movie title. So I'll just type in here the movie title. I'll add a break after the movie title and then I'll create a row class because for the columns to be applied, you need to have all the columns within a div that has the class row. And now inside here, I'll have the call MD, which means I want to give in a medium screen six columns to the left. And then I'll just copy paste, which means that the columns on the right will be for the right section of the screen. Now, let us start with the right section because on the right section we just have some text. So let's say I want to have the text in a P tag. This is going to be a placeholder for the movie plot. I'll close this one so I have more screen. And then after the P tag, what we can do is that we can create another row. Now we need the second row for this one. So we give, let's say we have a sub screen in here or you can call it whatever you want. But the whole idea is that you have a parent row and you give six columns to the left and six columns to the right. Now inside here you can have another div with the class row and have four columns for the stars, four columns for the directors and four columns for the genres. So in total we have 12 columns. So in here now for this div we are going to have another div with the column-md and then four and then two more. So we have 12 columns in total. Now inside this div I'll have a card, so div and then card. But in the card 
I'll just have the cart header, so div cart and then header, and the title is going to be the stars. Then inside the cart, I'll have an ordered list and then this unordered list will have two classes the first class is going to be a list group because i want to have a card but in the card body i want to have a list group and a list group flush now inside here we're going to have the list items the list items the same way are going to have a bootstrap class and that is going to be the list group and then dash item let us name the first star so let's say here we're going to have the name of the first star so star one name then we're going to have another one, let's say start two name and then start three name. Now let us just save the changes and go to the browser. Here in the browser, you can see that we don't have anything on the left section, but here on the right section, we have the text similar to what we have in here. And we also have the first card. Now, if you want to make this text in here, similar to what we have here on the left, what you need to do is that you just need to add a bootstrap class to the p tag. So for that here on the p tag, I'll just add the class lead. This is a, a bootstrap class that will make the text larger. Now let us copy the card text in here, paste it inside here. And here we are going to have now the directors, We're going to have the director one name, the director two name and the director three name. Let us copy the card one more time and paste it down here. And now this is going to be the genres good to have the genre one name two and three now the only thing that we have left is here the iframe on the left now for the iframe i'll just go to my youtube channel now on my youtube channel i'll just select this video so the first one and then i'll click the share button and then embed and copy so basically i'm just copying the iframe which i'll use to show this video in my app then i'll just go back to visual studio code i will just paste it in here so in here now you see that you have some default settings but if you want you can customize some of them like for example you can set the width to be 540 you can set the height to be let's say 360 now i'll just save the changes and go back to the browser now here on the browser, you can see that we have the movie title up here, similar to this one. And after we changed the class or after we added a class to this P tag, the lead class, we see that the P text was updated. And then you have the three columns for the stars, directors and the genres. Now this is the design that I've selected, but if you want, you can always navigate to the Bootstrap official page, select a different design. So using here, for example, lists, if you don't want to use the cards, but I do really like the cards because they look really nice with the movies. But if you want to select a different design, you can always go to the official website of Bootstrap and select different Bootstrap components. Now, this is all for this part. On the next part, we are going to design the second section of the details page, which is the details actors. And after the actors we have the reviews and then at the end we have the similar movies so see you on the next one